For cheap, fast, and reliable coins, make sure to head on over to CoinBank UT and make sure to use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off. Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Poodle back, and we've got another Madden Ultimate Team video today. So, actually, on stream yesterday, before I continue, I pulled a quick sell DeAndre Hopkins. If you guys didn't see it on Twitter, it was pretty awesome. It's one of my better pulls all year because, like, I haven't actually pulled many quick sells this year besides that one, to be honest, besides the Platinum Packs, but those don't really count because, you know, those are guaranteed. But I did pull them, so that's where our coin total is almost at about 600K. We have this Aaron Donald now, which you guys saw. Our team's looking pretty pretty stacked. I will be powering up to Sean Taylor soon. But you guys aren't here for that. You guys will see all that another time. You guys are here for the market tips and the daily sniping video. So let's go on over to that. So the team build is what we're going to be focusing on today because those are the new cards. And we got the scouts. Now, I highly recommend you do one of the sets that I will be showing you in a few seconds. Let me just show you guys the team builder. So let's start with the best ones. I know that's what you guys mostly come here for. I know I'll break you guys out of that market shell soon, but sorry about that. My remote actually died while I was trying to show you guys this. Let me get to it now. So the team builders. Okay. Oh, well then shouldn't there be the MVPs? It's weird. All right. If I don't have something I don't know that you guys do know, let me know. Maybe those aren't auctionable or something. All right. So we got these 94s. These are actually more expensive. So these aren't the best trading options by far. There are better ones that I saw yesterday. The training options at an all-time low. Kind of curious in this Evan Engram. So, if you guys want to snipe for sets, obviously, it'd be pretty obvious what you do here. You um, Let's see them. Right now, we got... Let's see all defense. Nope, still too, still too broad figured. Let's see. So, we got Arik Armstead and Cameron. Okay, this is a better one. So, you would filter by left ends. Uh, it's kind of slow right now. I mean, it's because, again, I record at times where a lot of people aren't on. People are still at work in school. So I recommend you click on a position that the lowest at the moment, and then you just sit here like that. You refresh. They, the, it looks like the consensus is they're all going for about 190 to 200k. So if you can get it for like 170, 180, that'd be a pretty good buy. Now let's look at the lower ones. All right, let me get out of left end. Come on. All right, so we got these. These are about 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 90k, 90 to 200k. So if you can get anything lower than that. So here I'd recommend you filter by wide receiver or in position. So again, the market's very slow on them right now, which is very weird, I guess. Again, people aren't here. People, a lot of people aren't home on the auction block. So if you can get these for about 80K, this is a really good buy. 80K for 92 overall is a, kind of a snag. So at 80, 85K. And then um, let's go one step lower. I don't really think I got to get much lower than I am, but I will for people with like 20 to 40K teams. All right, so now these. So these are kind of like the playoff players from last time, except they're higher overalls. So actually, this one right here, this Eric Reed might be a snipe. Oh, that is a snipe. I could be wrong, but I think I just sniped an Eric Reed. Because it's an 89 overall. There's no way that he should be higher than that. Let me see. Yeah, 40k. Okay. Oh wait, wait. 31k. All right. It wasn't. It was like a 5k snipe. Not bad. But actually, that's a pretty good method. If you can get the 89s for below 30k, that's very worthwhile because at the end of the time, when this is all over, that'll be a good training value if you think about it. So for these cards, you want to get the 88s for, let's see what my first You want to get the 88s for below like 22k. If you can get those, that's a snipe. And if you can get the 89s for below 30, it's a good price. And then you just keep reselling. You know how, you know the deal already if you've been watching my channel. If you haven't, go check out all my other videos. All this, a lot of my sniping videos aren't just about today. It's about like the overall method. So like they're always useful no matter when you watch them. A lot of them are still getting a ton of views because they're still very useful. And um, that's about it for these sniping cards specifically because I don't think I have to, I don't want to drag this video just telling you guys exactly. You guys know how to do it. I told you what the prices are, when, where to be looking. I just got to point you guys in the right direction. Now, I recommend this pack if you haven't bought it yet. I haven't bought it yet because I've been... Just been kind of lazy. 86 89 probably helps a lot of teams. It's literally a dollar. I'd buy it if I was you guys. And um, what I think is very, what I always like this whole year has been Nat players. 16,000 for a Nat MVP, in my opinion, is a steal. Anyone could use an MVP card, almost any team. I'm going to do it for probably Von Miller. So let me show you what the conversion looks like. Let me show you, let me give you, I don't have a top player to show you right now. But let me show you what the conversion looks like with a, with the 89 I just got. So the 89 goes for 2,000. It would take you, that's actually not bad. 2,000 for 30K, 16,000 divided by two is eight. You need eight of these. It's only about 200, mm, 240K for MVP 97 overall on that. So if you can get a, but you can get better. Obviously this isn't obviously probably the best value. The best value is probably a 95. 
I'm pretty sure a 95 gets you one exactly for free. So let's see how much those are going for. Because that could be a snag. Like, if you can get nat ones, like, that's 97 overalls for really, really cheap. And I'm hoping for um, Von Miller. I definitely use him. Let's see, team builders. I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure it's either the 94s or the 95s. But either or, the best training value. I don't know the exact conversion on this one, but give me one sec. Okay, I looked around a little bit. I'm almost positive, almost positive, that a 94, a 95 card gets you one nat team builder uh, MVP, and a 94 almost gets you one nat. So like with my 3K plus 94, I could probably almost do it. And the 94s are actually 95 there. The 94s are pretty cheap. So I can get a 94 and combine it with my current scouts. I could probably get one for free. And I'm probably going to do that. It's, it's, it is random though, which is kind of annoying. I don't, I'm going to go see what you guys can get out of that. So I'm, I'm going to give you guys a little breakdown of the most worthwhile ones too while I'm at it. Since that kind of does apply to the market and the scouts. Um, Joe Mixon, if you have a Bengals team, team worth it. Otherwise, running backs aren't exactly worth it. Joe Batonio will be worth it. Not for my team, but for many teams. Julio Jones will be worth it, not for my team, but again, many teams. Julio Jones is, a, is an animal. You know how he is. His stats aren't exactly comparable to Calvin and Randy, but it's a Julio Jones card. Joe Staley is a stud. Andrew Norwell, too. Kelvin Beecham would be good because these are linemen. Who, who wouldn't take a lineman? Kenny Dalladay I wouldn't use, but he's probably really good. Uh, Taylor Morton I might actually use because I have Lane Johnson. That I could probably quick sell my Lane Johnson. David DeCastro is really, really good. Derek Henry, he's probably a beast, but wouldn't use him. Now let's go through these. Jerry Hughes right end. He's probably really good. I can't use him because Donald. I will use this Von Miller. I will not use this Jason Pierre-Paul, but he's really good. Antoine Bethea, I might actually... I might have to use that, actually. I hear he's like one of the best safeties, if not the best. Xavier Howard, I might actually keep. I'd probably replace Champ Bailey with him. Uh, Alex Ogletree wouldn't use. Blake Martinez wouldn't use. Tahir Whitehead wouldn't use. Josh Norman, maybe. I really like Josh Norman. I'd have to see his stats. All right, on second thought, this is good for everyone, but people at my teams, I probably would only be able to use one, two, three, three, and then maybe Morton, probably four cards, I mean, I could probably give Julio my fourth wide receiver spot, yeah, this isn't too worthwhile for me, I mean, it's probably worth it for a lot of people, but maybe not so much for me, I highly recommend if you guys don't have the best teams to do a Nat one, because you, I think Nats are some of the best things they ever added, because Nats force you to keep players in your team, so you can't waste them on stupid packs or waste them on anything dumb. I think it's worthwhile to do it. I would highly recommend doing the set. I will be doing it, definitely. And uh, I'll open up a little gold player pack for you guys before I get out of here. So on stream yesterday, I actually opened one of these gold player packs. And I pulled a 88 quick sell Hopkins in my second pack. And everyone's going wild. It's crazy. I love streaming. It's really fun. I'll probably, if you guys watch this video, this wasn't a bad pack, all golds. I'll probably be uh, streaming today on Twitch. I'm going to try Twitch out. I think I'm going to stick to Twitch. So if you, I'd appreciate if you guys could head over and come watch me on uh, stream. That'd be cool. I'd appreciate that a lot. Maybe I could pull a little Ultimate Legend. Also, if you guys haven't been doing it, make sure to... Okay, I'll do one more. If you guys haven't been doing it, make sure to start uh, doing your Ultimate Legend. I know you're, oh my god, leveling up to try to get to level 80. Because you get a lot of Ultimate Legend packs for free, which are going to be very, very beneficial to a lot of people. Come on, Elite. I'll stop there. Call quits on there. Save up my coins. Still trying to save up for some new players. And eventually, Ultimate Legend Vic, Barry Sanders, and uh, Lawrence Taylor. Also, if you guys haven't seen my other video, go check out my best players. Choose your power pass on. Very informational. And it seems like a consensus of the community agrees on the players I picked. So I recommend watching that. If you guys haven't, followed me on Twitter at Poodle underscore Gaming underscore. I'm actually doing a giveaway at the moment, and if you guys want to be a part of that giveaway, you have to go just the rules are on Twitter. Go check it out. Very good giveaway giving away uh, either 150K or a Andrew Whitworth, Andrew Whitworth Super Bowl player. So it's free. Might as well go try it out. Take your t Test your luck on it. Also, if you guys haven't, make sure to comment, like, and if you've been enjoying my content, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. We are at 206 subscribers. I know I keep updating you guys, but I feel like I like to, I like to update people on things, so... Thank you guys for watching, and the outro is about to come up next. So if you guys have been, if you guys like the outro, please let me know. I'm trying to work on it a little bit to edit what I need to edit. So that's it. See you guys in the next video. I'm out.